Hello and welcome to video 2 of the Angles video series. In this video we learn about classifying angles. Classifying angles. Angles are classified according to their size. To classify an angle we're really just giving it a name according to how big the angle is. Now an acute angle is an angle between 0 degrees and 90 degrees so there are smaller angles there. Notice with the red marking we're indicating that the angle we're talking about is between the two arms of the angle we'd say there and of course at this point the vertex there there's actually another angle there that goes all the way around uh, or for the rest of the circle anyway so we need to indicate which angle we're talking about by putting some sort of an arc or a marking on it. A right angle probably know already exactly 90 degrees and we've got a special symbol for that and that's those, uh, those little markings in the corner there anytime you see those markings you can trust that that angle they're talking about is a right angle. An obtuse angle is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees and you can see that the arm there has moved past the 90 degree mark so it's uh, past 90 degrees bigger than 90 degrees an obtuse angle. A straight angle, <coughs> we think of that as a straight line. It's exactly 180 degrees. It's kind of like the arm, this left hand arm, we can think of as moving all the way around from this right hand position, well, halfway around really, halfway around a full revolution. Okay, a reflex angle, it's between 180 degrees, it's gone past that straight angle, and it hasn't uh, gone all the way around to uh, back to the start yet but it's certainly past that 180 degrees mark so it's bigger than 180 and less than 360 and the revolution is an arm that's gone all the way around from the start back to its starting position so that's one revolution 360 degrees all the way around so the different names we give angles let's just summarize now we've got acute angles between 0 and 90 we've got right angles that are exactly 90 We've got obtuse angles between 90 degrees and 180. We've got a straight angle that marks um, 180 degrees. And we've got reflex angles that's past the straight angle uh, between 180 degrees and 360 degrees. And we've got one complete revolution, 360 degrees there. Okay, that's classifying angles. There's the, the different names we can give angles according to their size. Thanks for listening. And of course you can see this and plenty more videos for your mathematics skills at peterblakemaths.com. Hope you enjoy them. See you next time for some more angles.